Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Nowadays, there seems to be a shortage of everything and everything is so darn expensive, especially meat. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, nor am I trying to scare anyone. And I also don't think we should go out and dig a bunker in our backyard. But being smart and planning ahead to ensure that our family has food to eat for at least a couple weeks in the event of a real shortage or national emergency makes sense to me. Dry foods, freeze-dried foods, and canned foods is the ultimate way to go, and the least expensive. But there's also heat and eat, shelf-stable foods that you can add to your food storage. And unfortunately, you get what you pay for. If you, the people, want to see a review on the Hormel Completes, let me know in the comments. So like I said, you get what you pay for. And just remember, most of the times, that works both ways. If you pay a dollar or dollar fifty a meal, you're going to get a dollar or dollar fifty meal. Which almost brings us to today's video. If you remember a while back, I did a video on KJ Poultry's ready meals, filet of salmon with white rice, carrots, and peppers. I'm going to let you, the people, know the cost of all these meals we're trying today at the end of the video. Needless to say, once the food was heated up and then plated up, it looked absolutely nothing like the picture on the box. I was absolutely shocked with the meal, and I think you will be too. If you want to see how that meal turned out, I'll leave a link in the description box. And I did forget to mention one thing about all these meals you'll see today is that they're all kosher. So I hope my Jewish friends and viewers really enjoy this video. If there's any other canned, pre-made, shelf-stable, or frozen kosher foods that you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments. So let's go over the ready meals, beef rib steak, served with potato kugel, carrot semus, and farfel. I really hope I pronounced everything okay. Now if you're not already sitting down like I am, you might want to go ahead and sit down before you see the ingredient list. There's only 17 real ingredients in this meal. There's no garbage in it, no preservatives. What were they thinking making an actual real meal? with quality, natural products. One serving is the whole 12 ounce meal, which has 430 calories, 14 grams of total fat, three and a half grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 135 milligrams of cholesterol, 870 milligrams of sodium, 31 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, nine grams of sugars, and 42 grams of protein. Now you can heat these ready meals in a microwave oven, boiling water, a hot plate, or a stove top black. After heating in the microwave, per the instructions, our rib steak dinner is ready. So let's get it opened and plate it up. Now as you can see, we had to use a shank to open it up. That plastic wasn't going to peel away. Well it certainly smelled good, and I think it looked good for what it was. I wasn't expecting a freshly cooked looking piece of meat. And that looks like a real piece of meat. Not a form meat slurry concoction or meat glued piece of meat. I apologize for the poor presentation, but things got a little bit sloppy during the plating. We tried the carrots first, which were obviously very overcooked and mushy, but they were sweet and they were delicious. Next we tried potato kugel, which reminded me of polenta, and it was good. It was rich and tasty with the juices from the meat. Next we tried the farfel, and to all my Jewish viewers, if I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly, please let me know in the comments, and I do apologize. The farfel to me looked and tasted like a combination of barley and couscous. You know couscous, the food so nice they named it twice. Now earlier I was going to say I wish they used a partition dish to keep these foods separately, but I'm thinking the juices and the fat from the meat is what's making everything taste so darn good. But if you're one of those people who don't like your food to touch, you're in trouble with this meal. And you guys have heard me say before that I love fat, and I love eating the fat on pieces of meat. Well on this I was a little bit disappointed. I went over and pulled off a piece of what I thought was fat, but it was the potato kugel. Which was delicious, but I was looking for a piece of fat. Next, we went in and tried a piece of the beef steak. And that meat is like pot roast. It's moist, 
tender and delicious. I was pretty pessimistic about the meat in this, but it's surprisingly very good. Going into this meal, I wasn't very optimistic about the meat, but this meat is delicious. And as you can see, the whole piece of meat is fork tender. Now for one bite of everything combined. The farfel, the kugel, the carrots, and the beef. This beef steak dinner was absolutely delicious. And even though I really enjoyed it and I thought it was delicious, I do wish that they would partition off the different parts of the meal. That way you have a chance to try everything on its own or mix it all together if you like. Now let's try the Ready Meals Bone-In Chicken Dinner. Serve with the same carrots, the same kugel, and the same farfel. And again, the ingredient list is full of good stuff, not a bunch of crap. It's real food. The serving size is the whole 12 ounce meal, which has 560 calories, 33 grams of total fat, nine grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 205 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,030 milligrams of sodium, 31 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, nine grams of sugars, and 34 grams of protein. The heating instructions are exactly as they were with the beefsteak dinner. On the beefsteak dinner, the white plastic cover wouldn't come off unless you shanked it. On the chicken dinner, it's jumping to come off. And they were certainly very generous with the carrots on this meal. So we got it out of the tray and got it plated up. And although still overcooked, they weren't nearly as mushy as the first ones, but they were just as delicious. Next, we went in for a bite of farfel. And at first, I thought the farfel and the kugel were all mixed together, and I wouldn't be able to try them on their own, but I was. And once again, the farfel was delicious. And again, it reminded me of barley and couscous. And that's a good thing. All the kugel was underneath the farfel. And once again, the carrots, the kugel, and the farfel were all rich, savory, and delicious. And I'm sure they're picking up a lot of flavor from the juices from the chicken leg. Speaking of that chicken leg, I was saving it to try last because I'm very skeptical about eating a whole piece of chicken with the bone that's been sitting on a grocery store shelf unrefrigerated. But I'll risk my life for you, the people, so you don't have to. All right, first off, you can see how tender the chicken was and you can see how moist it is. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. That piece of chicken coming out of a ready-eat meal could not have been any better. Well, maybe just a little bit more seasoning. The skin wasn't tough and chewy or fatty. It was nice and tender, which obviously gave the chicken good flavor and moisture. And the chicken was cooked perfectly and the meat was good. What more can you ask for for a meal off the shelf? So we went back in for one more bite of chicken before we had our final bite of everything. And again, the chicken was delicious on its own, but everything mixed together was also delicious. Now, I absolutely loved both of these meals equally. The ingredients were high quality. The taste was phenomenal. The moisture was phenomenal. These meals contain no artificial flavors or colors, no preservatives, or no additives. And it's just good, high quality, delicious food. But high quality, real food with a three year shelf life is gonna come with a price which is one of the downfalls of these meals. The other downfall is that all the food gets mixed together. To me, that's not necessarily a problem, but to some people, it definitely will be a problem. Oh yeah, back to the part, you get what you pay for. Well, you're definitely paying for it. The beefsteak dinner costs $14.99, and the chicken dinner, $12.99. So these meals are definitely not what you're gonna fill your food storage with, but it would be nice to have a couple of them on hand as a special occasion if there is a real emergency. Or just buy a couple and have them laying around the house for those busy weeknights when you don't feel like cooking. These are the perfect meals for bachelors and bachelorettes. And they're a whole lot better tasting and better for you than a greasy, sodium-filled TV dinner. Thank you all very much for watching, 
and I'll see you soon.